Notion is an all-in-one workspace that allows you to capture ideas, create and manage projects, take notes, and so much more. Its power lies in its databases that can be viewed in different formats like lists, tables, boards, and galleries, and are completely searchable. And for those like me who want their organization to also look beautiful, it's completely customizable. Those who have tried Notion before know that it can be incredibly overwhelming to start. You pretty much start with a blank page and no idea how to build the beautiful boards you've actually seen. I know I at least felt this way when I started, so I purchased a few different Notion templates hoping this would help, but instead I felt overwhelmed in a completely different way. There was just so much information and tables and tags and status updates that I didn't use them either. Instead, over months, I watched countless YouTube videos and Notion support videos and went back to that blank page and really built what I needed from scratch. So many of you reached out on Instagram to share my Notion template, so today we're going to jump into the dashboard I created and show you how to use it. If you think it's a good fit for you, the link for it will be in the description. If nothing else, this can hopefully give you some ideas and insight into how to use Notion. Once you've opened the link, the first thing you're going to want to do is duplicate the entire page. In the top right corner of your screen, you'll see the duplicate button. Go ahead and click that. Now it's duplicated into my workspace. I can see it on my sidebar menu as well. And I can go ahead and delete this callout bar at the top by clicking the six dot icon and clicking delete. Now you can rename this personal dashboard if you want. It's got a little motivational message at the top, my flip clock, and a few task columns at the top. I usually keep this open throughout the day as I'm working or easily pull it up on my phone in the Notion app. I have my tasks grouped by today's task, tomorrow's, and then this week's, and I really like to manually add them. Typing this in myself really helps me feel more intentional about my day and week as opposed to having it be auto-populated and just running on a sort of autopilot. Many of my tasks, however, are guided by my project calendar below. This is one of Notion's database views, and just below that, I have the exact same database, just in a different format view, this time in a list grouped by category. I can click on the project directly in the calendar, and it opens to the project info. All of these project examples are just that. You can edit and delete any of it, but I did create these helpful project templates that remind me to break down projects into smaller steps and have room for any notes. You can add things like photos, website links, simple tables. The possibilities really are endless. These tag titles can all be renamed as well to fit your needs. So maybe it's school instead of work. I have quite a few on my own personal dashboard, but I just like to keep tasks in buckets. So it really does help having them categorized this way. Now the next database in this dashboard is what I refer to as my second brain. <laughs> this is the idea slash brain dumb database, which is in table format, but you can always change the views to whatever you like, and I'll show you that in a bit. But for now, let's add a new idea and show you some of the basics of creating in Notion. First, let's give it a title. We'll call this Notion Video, and now when we open it, we have our blank page. Let's start typing something. If we click that six dot icon on the left, we can change the format a bit. This is where I like to add my color blocking. I love the brown shade, but you can use any shade you'd like. <laughs> I'll add a little note here, and now I want to go ahead and make a to-do list. The backslash button is how you access commands in Notion. So once I hit that, I've got a list of options here to choose from, or you can start typing what you want. Check, which is what I'm starting to type, will pop up the to-do list, and we can go ahead and type out our steps. I can add my color background again just to help that pop, and then I can even add a little text call out, which is another fun way to sort of highlight something or call out something. Now we can close this and head back to our dashboard and actually see that the Notion video idea is saved now in our brain dump database. If I want to go ahead and make this idea a real project, say I'm ready to actually get started, I just click the six dot icon and move to and select our master project list. Now when we scroll up in the no tag section we'll find our Notion video. I'm going to open it and add a tag so it gets grouped where it makes sense and then go ahead and add a date for this project as well. Now when we go back to our dashboard we can actually see that it pops up in our calendar and our list views. I can also view any of these databases as their own page. I just click the three dots next to the name and view database, and now I can see just this, which is helpful if you prefer a more focused view, and we can do the same thing with our ideas and brain dump database as well. 
All right, now scrolling on, at the bottom I did include some additional bonus pages that help me, and the first is our simple wellness page. Here we've got a little motivational quote, and it's one of my favorites, especially when it comes to keeping habits, because we can be so hard on ourselves for not being perfect and give up the second we slip up. This quote always reminds me to forget if we slipped up and start fresh on a new day. So in here we have a habit tracker that you can customize with whatever habits you want to stay on track with. I just added a few examples here, and then a meal planner view. Believe it or not, this meal planner is actually just a filtered gallery view of our ideas slash brain dump database with the tag this week. So the gallery view is just another gorgeous way to sort of view your databases. Let me just show you really quickly. If we go back to our dashboard, you'll see in the list view, all of these recipes are here and they actually have the tag this week. As you add your own recipes, you can decide which ones you'll use the this week tag for to add them to your meal planning list. So back to our wellness page, if you click on any meal, the recipe will pop up. I saved these five in here for you. These are real <laughs> recipes that I actually use. And in the ideas database, I save the recipe template so you can add your own easily as well. The final little piece we have is just a workout log if you want to keep track of workouts you did. And I included a sample link to a YouTube video workout. The next bonus page is my running shopping list. This is a simple page, but really helpful to add things as they come up and keep impulse shopping at bay. This is how I group things, but you can relabel these any way you please. For repeat purchases like groceries, I actually have a pretty long list now on my personal one that I check or uncheck as needed and don't really delete my regular items. And on to our final bonus page, last but not least, is a done slash archive page. This is actually really helpful. You can move completed projects here to still have them be searchable. And that's it. I hope this tutorial was useful. Let me know in the comments. In the description, you will find the link for this dashboard template if you feel like this was a good fit for you.